Hey, what's going on all you lovely people of the internet? Today I'm going to be talking to you about OBS and some of its features, but specifically its noise suppression feature and how you access it and what your alternatives are. So there's really not much more to add to this intro, so let's just get right into it. All right, so uh, if you don't know what OBS is, OBS is a kind of a multifaceted desktop app for your computer or your Mac. And what I find it's primarily used for is display capturing. So if you're a gamer, I believe that it is very popular for gaming because it does allow you to do display capture and I think you can do a, uh, a video capture as well. So it has uh, a lot of different functions but the primary one is for display capture. So that's what we're going to be using it for as I show you uh, how OBS works. So I've already started a display capture uh, so that you can see what I'm doing and OBS has some noise suppression features to it. To access them you go to this little guy right here on the microphone. You don't go to settings, you go to this because it is actually a filter. So you're gonna come down to filters and then you're gonna come over to the plus and you're going to add noise suppression. So once you do that, click okay and there you go. And it's set at negative 30 decibels, uh, which I think works pretty, pretty well so that you can see what that's like. So what I'm gonna do actually is take it off really quick. Yes, I do want to not do that. And so you can hear what it sounds like without it on. So I'm going to use uh, my water bottle. It has some water. Not much actually though. So that's good. It means that I'm drinking, I'm staying hydrated. So this is, you know, what it sounds like with just that little bit of water in with no noise suppression on. And then now I'm going to come back in, come to filters, noise suppression, okay, close, and then do it for the second one as well. Filters, noise suppression okay there we go so now i'm going to do the same thing and we'll see if it makes a difference with the audio so that is uh your one option the other one that you can come into and add is a noise gate and the difference here is that a noise gate is going to just completely cancel out any sound uh that doesn't um or that yeah goes below or above this th threshold. I kind of have to figure that one out for you. Um, but basically, uh, I don't use a noise gate. I only ever use a noise suppression, and that seems to suffice for me. Um, mostly because I think the noise gate is, is really going to be, if you're in a really, really noisy area, then go ahead and throw that on as well. But for me, the noise suppression seems to do the, the trick well enough. And so there that is. So it's pretty straightforward as far as what it does. But it's kind of annoying that, you know, to turn it on and off, you have to go into the filters, do this. Yes, I would like to remove it. Close, and I have to go to the other mic. Filters, remove it. Yes, close, and then you're done. So there's, uh, you know, a fair number of steps to it. Uh, to be fair. The alternative that you have to using OBS's noise suppression is using an app like Crisp. Uh, Crisp is a standalone desktop app and it works with any of your video conferencing services. So whether it's Zoom, BlueJeans, Microsoft Teams, anything, um, Crisp is going to work with all of them because it is independent of them and actually works with your microphone. So what you would do to use Crisp is you're gonna come up to the Crisp icon like so come down here yeah I to remove the noise and now it's on and so now with Chris Bond, we're gonna do the same test and we're gonna shake the water around and see how it goes right so again um, the comparison between the two, which I've done before, uh, OBS actually does a decent job at the noise suppression. Uh, Crisp has more powerful suppression when it comes to a lot louder noises. Like I believe on, on one of mine, I, I did a, a smoothie, um, which Crisp actually blocks out and you can still hear me. Um, OBS does not do that. So uh, it has a bit more power to it. And really the biggest thing though, is that it's so much easier to turn on and off. So I just come up, now it's off, right? And and it's off and you're shaking and I'm just going to keep shaking while I actually turn it on, which is harder than it looks because I got to navigate this, but now it's on. So there we go. And that's really the biggest difference uh, between Crisp and OBS, just because it's so much easier to turn it on and off. It's one step uh, as opposed to the four or whatever it was for OBS. All right, y'all. And that'll do it. Uh, I hope you found this video helpful. And as always, please let us know what you think in the comments below. 
check out our other videos and especially these days, be well, take care of yourself and we'll see you soon. Thanks.